Hi there. We're looking today at uh, macOS High Sierra and the new Apple file system uh, that's going into production this fall as part of that new operating system. Uh, one of the things I wanted to look at today is a weird little math issue that we see in the Finder, uh, and it has to do with getting the true size of any file or folder on an APFS volume. Uh, it seems like it should be pretty straightforward to figure out uh, the disk usage of a file, uh, but the new file cloning API in APFS makes that a little bit complicated, and uh, I don't think they've quite got it sorted out yet how that's going to work in the Finder. So what I've set up here is an APFS container on a Samsung SSD, so it's a 200 gigabyte container, and I've got two APFS volumes in that container, Alpha and Bravo. Uh, on the alpha volume, I have a single test file that is 2.34 gigabytes. And I'm just going to do a couple tests here, and we're going to look at the disk usage that Finder reports and the actual disk usage that we can ascertain from disk utility. Uh, so the first thing I'd like to do is to just take this file and duplicate it in the Finder. And when we do that, we'll see that it happens immediately, thanks to that new file cloning feature on APFS. Uh, so even though we've got two 2.34 gigabyte files, uh, the actual disk usage is just 2.34 gigabytes rather than 4.67. Uh, so the first problem that we see is if I uh, get info on that parent folder, we can see that Finder is actually adding up the sizes of those two files and showing the, the disk usage as 4.67 gigabytes. Uh, if we look at the volume disk usage, we can see that it's just 2.34 gigabytes. So uh, right off the bat, we have a discrepancy uh, in the Finder uh, regarding disk usage of this folder. The next thing I want to do is I want to copy this folder to that other container on the, uh, sorry, the other volume on the APFS container. So I'm just going to drag this down here. And what we'll see is that as Finder is copying that, it's only copying 2.34 gigabytes. So this is the behavior that we actually want. Uh, this, is, this file here is a clone of this one. So when Finder copies that folder, it copies that first file and then makes the second a clone of the first. Uh, so at this point, you know, we're in pretty good shape. If we look in uh, disk utility at these two volumes, we'll see that they both have 2.34 gigabytes of disk usage. Okay, so we're good so far. Uh, next, I'm going to make another copy of this file. Either one, it doesn't matter, they're both clones. So duplicate. Uh, at this point, um, in theory, I should have 2.34 gigabytes of disk usage on this whole volume because these two files are clones of this one. Uh, again, though, if I look at the, the disk usage of that folder, it reports 7 gigabytes, so that's incorrect. Uh, but the next thing I want to do uh, obviously, I don't want to copy this whole folder again. I'd have to delete this folder and then recopy it. I just want to copy this file that I've added. So I drag that down here, and we'll see that Finder is copying another 2.34 gigabytes of data to that volume. So now I have two discrepancies. Um, first of all, this folder's disk usage, as reported by Finder, doesn't match the true disk usage of this folder. This folder's disk usage matches the reported disk usage of the original folder. But if I look in disk utility, we can see that the disk usage of the two volumes do not match each other. So we've got 2.34 gigabytes on alpha, 4.67 gigabytes on Bravo. Uh, so the, the problem here is that I've got two folders that look identical. Their contents literally are identical. All of these files are exact copies of, of that original file. Um, but this folder on an APFS volume is, is consuming more space than this exact same folder on the other volume. Um, that's a pretty difficult problem to get past, unfortunately. Um, uh, so I'm going to add one more complication to this. Let's just go ahead and remove this from the destination and empty the trash. And I'm going to duplicate this whole folder. And again, that happened immediately because, uh, you know, the Finder just created a clone 
of these files all back to that original file, to the original data. Now I want to copy both of these folders to my other volume. So we would hope that it would copy just the 2.34 gigabytes, but it actually is copying 4.67 gigabytes. And that's because the finder is only looking within each folder for clones. It does not look between those two folders uh, for clone files. So when it copies, it'll copy this file first and then make these two clones of the original. And then it'll copy, uh, create that second folder, copy this original file, and then create two more clones. Uh, so again, if we look at the disk usage in disk utility, we will see that on the source volume, on the original volume, we have 2.34 gigabytes of usage, but on Bravo we have 4.67 gigabytes. And then, of course, in the finder, if we get info on these folders, that's 7 gigabytes and 7 gigabytes, so it would appear that there's 14 gigabytes of disk usage on each volume, but obviously both of those are wrong. So uh, this is probably going to be a very frustrating situation for some people who are just trying to figure out, uh, you know, I'm trying to free up some space on my hard drive, for example. How big is this folder? It's 14 gigabytes. Okay, I'm going to chuck this in the trash. When I delete it, I should get 14 gigabytes of space back. Um, that's not going to happen on an APFS volume if there are clones of that file or if there are snapshots that have references to that file. Um, but the worst part is that there's, there's really no way to express this to the user uh, that would make sense to them, or really at all. So that's it in a nutshell. Um, math is hard, I guess. We're hoping that uh, we'll see some improvements to this situation in a future version of Mac OS.